I'm Idiotech and this is my PC performance review for Dark Souls 3. The Souls series has a history of poor performance and support for the PC platform. Thankfully, some of the issues that existed in previous games have been addressed this time around. However, there's still a number of glaring issues that need to be addressed moving forward. First and foremost is performance. Now, while the game runs at a solid 60 FPS for me on a GTX 980, many people with lower end hardware are reporting significant performance issues. It's hard for me to speculate on why this would be happening, as the game is barely using 50% of my GPU when everything is maxed out. However, if you are running older hardware, I would advise that you check the Steam forums for other people running similar setups to you to see what kind of performance you can expect. Overall, things seem to vary quite a lot from person to person, but for me personally, I've had no issues at all and the game runs solidly at 60 FPS at all times. The next issue to talk about is the fact that the game is capped at 60 FPS. As of right now, there doesn't appear to be a way to uncap it. In the previous Dark Souls games, they tied their game's logic to the frame rate, so even if someone does manage to unlock it moving forward, the game may not perform as intended. For now, if you're running a high refresh rate monitor, be aware that you'll likely be capped at 60 FPS for the foreseeable future. The game does support mouse control in the menus, which is good to see, and compared to the original Dark Souls, the keyboard and mouse support has improved. However, all prompts both in and out of game display Xbox controls. This is a major issue for anyone using a keyboard or mouse as the game's tutorial makes absolutely no sense. You'll likely need to spend some time in the options menu figuring out each of the inputs if you want to play this game with a mouse and keyboard. That being said, the mouse and keyboard does perform relatively well. I played the game for a significant period of time with both the controller and the mouse and keyboard, and for me they were somewhat interchangeable. I have issues with both control schemes, Thankfully, there is keyboard rebinding in this, which is a godsend. Another issue related to controls is the support for PS4 and Steam controllers. Many people are reporting that the game doesn't recognize PS4 controllers at all, and the Steam controller lacks the option to lock onto a target, which is absolutely essential in a Dark Souls game, especially during boss fights. If you're using one of these control methods, I strongly advise that you skip this game for the time being until they patch support in for both of these control methods. Before we talk about crashing, and yes, that is a major problem for a large number of people out there, I want to talk about the visual quality of the game. Dark Souls 3 is using the new Bloodborne engine. While it does offer some visual improvements over previous games in the series, it's not as impressive as I might have hoped. The texture resolution overall is quite poor, and on close inspection, the game looks very dated. Character models, environmental detail, as well as skyboxes just don't look that good. The game only supports FXAA as its anti-aliasing method, which leaves the game looking blurry and doesn't do a great job of hiding jaggies. I've tried to force anti-aliasing methods outside of the game using the NVIDIA control panel, but nothing seems to work to this point. Overall, it's quite unimpressive when it comes to its visuals, and while it does have some nice lighting effects, overall, I was kind of underwhelmed. The graphics options menu is also significantly lacking, and I really wish they would add some proper support for anti-aliasing moving forward. Finally, I want to talk about crashing. There have been a number of reports from people about the game crashing at the first bonfire or checkpoint. As of right now, there doesn't seem to be any way for people affected by this issue to progress through the game, and so effectively, the game is dead on arrival for those people. Thankfully, I've not experienced this issue. However, if you are thinking about picking up this game, please be aware that this issue exists and it would be wise for you not to exceed your two hour refund window if you are experiencing any problems at all. In conclusion, the only real benefit to playing Dark Souls 3 on PC seems to be the increased frame rate. If you are one of those people who's desperate to play a new Souls game, I would strongly advise that you wait for the game to be patched and maybe pick it up later down the road once it goes on sale. I will be reviewing the game later this week, provided I don't have any issues myself, and if these issues have been addressed, I will make sure to comment on that then. Thank you for your time, and if you found this video helpful or useful in some way, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.